What's up, guys? Welcome to Booking It. I am Malachi from Miss Ramirez's third grade class, and I am here to talk about some great books with you guys. I want to talk about I Survived, and it's kind of just a book about two boys that are going with their mom to their dad's hometown, Japan, and there's an earthquake, and Henry, the oldest brother, he has just lots of ideas to practice to protect him and his little brother when they're trying to survive the earthquake. There's just this ginormous tsunami that just starts coming from the ocean onto the beach and they try and drive away in their car but it's not fast enough and the doors pop open. The oldest brother, he gets trapped in the car and he just tries to get out of the car and he tries his hardest to survive and as the book title says, he survives. And it's just a really good story about how he just goes through these terrible disasters. And that is this book. I like this book because it's just like an action adventure kind of saddish story that just, it kind of makes you feel good because it kind of like makes you feel confident that you can do things. And I would recommend this book for maybe second grade and up. This is kind of a big book, and this is why I chose this book. My next book is Cardboard by Doug Tenable. It's right there. And it's a book about this man, and he wants to buy something for his kid's birthday, but he can't because he doesn't have enough money. So he stops at like this really old shop that's really cheap and he buys this box of cardboard and he gives it to his son and they and his son is actually really happy because he has so many ideas of what of what he's going to make with it and then they end up making this boxer and his neighbors like really jealous of this magical boxer that they've made and then they kind of just like go through a stage where they're just stealing the cardboard back and forth and back and forth and then eventually when his neighbor gets it it just goes crazy and i like this book because it is another action adventure um it is in the graphic novel section and it's really just a good book that's hoping you like just it's a good book to read. I like to read because it just takes me, like, if I'm reading hard enough, it'll take me into the book, and sometimes I'm just so focused on the book, I don't, like, realize what's around me. And I like coming to the library because there's so many amazing choices that you can read about. Thank you guys for listening. I just really like the library. Hey, hey Malika, I, 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 I've got some books, some books too. Can I, can I share my books? Okay. Yay! I like books! Thanks, Malachi. Man, he did an amazing job. You know, we've got some of the best kids at this school, and I love our community of readers. It's so important to me that so many of you guys really value reading and really cherish reading, and it just, it just, it makes me feel happy on the inside. Ding! So today I want to talk about some books that I've been reading. I've been reading a lot of books. I'm always reading a lot of books and I just can't wait to share them with you guys. I want to start out actually focusing on an author. Now this book is called The Billy Goat Grimm, but I want to focus on the author for this book. This uh, author is one of my absolute favorites. His name is Willie Claflin. He actually came to King several years ago while I was still librarian here. And I love Willie Claflin books. So a lot of my students out there, you guys are reading fairy tale stories in a lot of your classes. And Willie Claflin does what's called fractured fairy tales. He takes a normal fairy tale or a folk tale or folklore and he switches it. He kind of twists it and makes it weird. And of course, I like weird. I like weird a lot. In this story, he does a retelling of the three Billy Goats Gruff. He does another one that's a, a retelling or a mesh up of Rapunzel and the Seven Dwarves. So Snow White's not even part of it. And I just love these books. They're in our everybody section. They're on the C shelf for Willie Claflin. And I love it. All of his books are narrated by a character named Maynard Moose. 
and Maynard Moose talks in a different way. Maynard Moose speaks like this, and he has a different style of voice, and when he's reading the book, you... The book doesn't sound like this, but when, but this that's how he sounds, alright? That's actually the voice. Because when he was here, Mr. Claflin actually read these books to us. Now you might be thinking, well this is only for the little kids. Actually it's not. I recently bought a playaway of Willie Claflin retelling some of his stories. So we have this for my third, fourth, and fifth graders as well as a playaway. If you want to hear something humorous, laugh out loud funny, this is a great thing for you to check out. Now, you might not want to listen to it during class because your teachers might not like it if you just burst into laughter while you're in the classroom, but it's that good. I love Willie Claflin. I just wanted to have a little author spotlight for him. He's amazing. I love his work. He does hilarious books. They're a little tricky to read because he writes in moose. So in his world, moose is its own language, and it's like English, but a little bit different. So instead of the word family, like we say, for your family at home, it's family. And it's written out, family, F-A-M-B-L-Y. It's just weird, but it's so much fun. For my readers out there that want to try something new and want to have a laugh at it, that's a great book for you. I love Maynard Moose, and I love Willie Claflin, and I hope you guys check out some of his books. The next book I want to talk about, actually, I don't have it here with me. Well, it's, it's there. But I don't have it here with me to show you because it's actually being uh, checked out by one of our fifth grade teachers right now, and that's A Night Divided by Jennifer Nielsen. Now, this is a book that we've had in our library for about two years, and I've not really ever really just jumped to get it because it's historical fiction. And historical fiction you know, is a retelling or a fictitious telling of something that actually happened in history. And those are books that I don't always just jump into, even though I like them a lot, because usually they're highly emotional. And this one is, but it is amazing. A Night Divided tells the story of a family that gets their home life practically torn in two when the Berlin Wall goes up one night. So it takes place in Berlin. This is after World War II, just after World War II, and the Berlin Wall goes up, and it actually divides uh, Goethe, that's the main character, her family in two. Part of her family is on one side of the wall, and part of the family is on the other side of the wall. And for those of you who don't know about the Berlin Wall, it was a terrible time in Europe history, and there were soldiers who would man the wall and would actually shoot at anyone trying to get across the other side. So it's the story of fighting against all odds and trying to reunite with family and how important family is and what you're willing to go through. And this book does a beautiful job of portraying what it means to feel powerless and how to overcome that eventually. But it's just such a, just, it's dark and it's depressing. But at the end of it, it's just this triumph of the human spirit. And I just love this book. I think it's one that when we read historical fiction, I think that really opens the door for us to experience what's called empathy, to understand and feel the emotions of others. And this book does it beautifully. I love this book. I'm so glad we have it in our library. I know it's going to be a lot of junior high libraries as well because it is an upper level book, but it's wonderful. It's called A Night Divided by Jennifer Nielsen. You can find that in our fiction section on the end shelf. I loved it. And the last book I want to talk about actually is the Zodiac Legacy Book 2, The Dragon's Return. Now, I love the first book of the Zodiac Legacy. I was kind of surprised it took me so long to read the second one. You know, it just sat there on the shelf and I just kept reading other things because, you know, it's hard for me always to keep going in a series. I thought you love series. I do. I do love series, but I have to read a lot of different books for you guys. So I don't always get to the ones that I want to just jump back into. This is such a good book. For all my friends out there who just love graphic novels, love, love graphic novels, that's their whole world is graphic novels. Graphic novels! I remember Uriah. This is actually a great chapter book series for you to move on to. Now, I'll be honest, the reading level's pretty high. This really is around a fifth grade, almost sixth grade reading level book. But what I love about it is it's a chapter book with lots of action and actually has graphic novel style drawings in between the chapters. So in case you haven't read it, The Zodiac Legacy is about these individuals who inherit the special powers that are related to the Chinese Zodiac. So uh, 
the rat, the dragon, the ox, the tiger, people inherit these abilities and they can do amazing things. Well, like with many books, when there's special abilities, there's also good versus evil and it's this big clash of the good guys versus the bad guys. And this book really was kind of like an Empire Strikes Back book too. Like it doesn't end with everyone happy, which I kind of love when there's a big cliffhanger, although we don't have book three and that's like the worst thing ever. I need to know more! But it's a great, great book book. If you like action and adventure and superheroes and powers and battles and you like the world of graphic novels but you're looking for something that's more of a chapter book, you can't go wrong with a Zodiac Legacy. It's definitely up there in the reading level and it's a long book. It's over 400 pages long but I loved it and I'm really hoping that you guys will like it too. I know many of you have read the first one but you've got to read the second one. It takes the story to another level. Thank you guys for listening to us talk about books. I hope you find some great books to read. The weather is beautiful outside. It's also a nice time to read too. As always, keep on reading. <laughs>